The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio West. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from University of Alberta. There is a din of misinformation amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. The alternative medicine community's voice is loud. What should be louder is the absurdity and potential harm of the pseudoscience. Naturopaths are recommending supplements to prevent and hopefully treat the virus. Homeopaths have claimed a cure. Aromatherapists are pushing antiviral essential oils that can help avoid infection. Acupuncturists claim that their practice balances organ systems, fortifies lungs and kidneys, and assists against the virus. Listeners of Radio Western, there is no evidence to support these claims. They are not scientifically plausible. For example, the alternative medicine community champions the idea of boosting your immune system by following their practices. You want to boost your immunity? Ditch the special supplements and procedures. Get enough sleep, eat healthy foods and exercise. But the demand of alternative medicine services and products has increased. They are leveraging fear and uncertainty around the pandemic. This is a problem. We do not need this misinformation during a public health crisis. People will waste money and subject themselves to harmful products and procedures. It will distract the public from more helpful strategies and delay treatment from medical professionals. And because of marketing based on fear, it can increase public anxiety. But how does the public know the difference between nonsense and evidence-based treatments? We have given alternative practitioners legitimacy by integrating them into our publicly funded medical schools, universities and healthcare systems. The government sanctions marketing of homeopathy and other natural products. And respected news outlets write praiseworthy, uncritical articles on scientifically absurd practices like Reiki and astrology. But there is pushback. For example, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the Federal Trade Commission have warned an Ontario-based holistic clinic to stop selling a tea that the tea company supposedly used with other coronavirus infections, including SARS, and claimed that it works well. The Canadian Association of Naturopathic Doctors has noted that there are no proven methods for the prevention or treatment of COVID-19, and claims made otherwise by any health professionals are invalid and should be reported immediately. In our era of fake news and eroding trust, universities, governments, healthcare systems and news media need to make a stronger stand and tolerate less. It should not take a public health crisis to push back against pseudoscientific and unproven alternative medicine. This story was adapted from Timothy Caulfield's folio article, Misinformation, Alternative Medicine and the Coronavirus. It was originally published in Policy Options. Caulfield is a Canada Research Chair in Health Law and Policy at the University of Alberta and host of the Netflix documentary series, A User's Guide to Cheating Death.